60 years is too long, don't you agree? Way too long, way too long. When you're in power that long, you become corrupt, there's abuse of power, and you're arrogant. We've had enough. Yes. Let's give the opposition a chance. People say, Ambika, how can you take side? I take side with the right yet. I believe it's good for the right yet to have a change in government. It is good for Malaysia to have a change in government because that's what democracy is. Democracy is not having the same government there for 60 years. And look at what they have done. They're there for so long, so they break the system, so they can stay forever. Nobody has the divine right to stay in power forever. Nobody. I know that some of them think they're God-given. Well, they're not. They're not. We can throw them out. We can throw them out. So even if it was Pakata Harapan who had been there for 60 years, I would still say after 60 years, throw them out. I would still say that. Because no one should be there for so long. So, I think we are ready. This is our moment. This is the Rakyat's moment. This is the Rakyat's moment to reclaim the heart and soul of our beloved country, Saudari Saudari. This is the moment that we are going to do that. We have spent too many years, 60 over years, this will be the 61st year, under one government, one federal government. There is no other democratic country in the world that has such a long-standing government. We have used this 10 years, we have accumulated certain amount of reserves. Every year we will use these reserves to continue to give back to the people. Free water, medical cards. Medical cards, not only for the poor, we have also now given for all residents, voters of Selangor, 60 years and above, you can qualify to get this medical card. The taxes that you pay, we try to give back as much as possible to you, but we also want to take care of those who need our help, those families who are poor. So your money, for example, is now going to more than 30,000 families. Every month, we put 200 ringgit inside. We give them this card, 200 ringgit every month. Every year, 2,400 ringgit so that they can buy groceries, so that they can feed their children. In my constituency, I've visited people who, when I go into their apartment, which they haven't paid rent, for many months or electricity or water. Their children lie down. They, are, they don't go to school. They lie down on the floor. There's no furniture. When you open the cupboard, there's no fridge. They, can, they cannot afford a fridge. You open the cupboard, there's no food. And these are the people, this is where your money, we want to make sure that the deserving people get the help they can from you. It is from you. You are helping them. We have 40 over programs in Slango. It's called Initiative Peduli Rakyat. It's the only one that is, you know, that state governments, that any state government in this country is running. And it is only with your support. I want to fight for your kids' education. If I go in, I want to fight for a safer nation. If I go to parliament, I want to make sure that money is channeled properly for proper work, for proper purpose. Yes. If we don't start rebuilding our nation today, if we don't start from our children, we will suffer 30 years down the road. It is time we start now. It is time that you send a young mother like me to go in and fix this problem. But I'm not just a young mother, I want to go in and fight corruption. And I have experience in the Selangor State Legislative Assembly, chairing four select committees. I will bring that experience into parliament if elected. 
and ensure there is accountability by the executive. The prime minister and the cabinet minister must be answerable. I don't care who forms government, whether it's Barisan National or Pakatan Harapan, but the prime minister, prime minister and cabinet must be answerable to parliament. We must put an end to days in parliament where the prime minister doesn't have to come and face the opposition leader, doesn't have tables of budget but is not there to listen to what the opposition leader has to say. These kind of things must stop in parliament. Yes. yes. I need you to be believers. Yeah. We must believe in hope. We must believe in faith. We must believe in a better Malaysia. We must believe in each other because we are in this together. Yeah. This land is our land. Yeah. Ini bukan milik orang Amno, bukan milik Raja Nongchi, bukan milik Najib, bukan milik Rosma. Ini milik kita bersama. Yeah. It's either we change this regime or this regime will change us all forever.